Hey yo guys, how's it going? A uh, kind of poorly tally here. Um, my chest is still all messed up for like the third week in a row, but it's getting better. It's like on its way out today. Today it is time to test the new best hero build in the world. Um, it's going second as all hell. There's a load of hand traps. There's Nibiru, Ash, Gogar, um, which is what I call Ghost Ogre now. I think it sounds cooler. Let me know how you, you feel about that. Um, yeah, Nibiru, Ash, Gogar, Impermanence. So lots of hand traps, um, super poly in the main to just kind of scoop up your opponent's stuff and really force out just everything they've got. Now really pick apart that board and make sure it doesn't happen, um, which this deck in the next couple weeks will actually be one of the best going second decks of the format, I think. Well, best rogue going second decks. It's not going to be quite meta, but it's going to be really good and your opponents are always going to be like, what? What just happened? Because you will have OTK'd them nine times out of ten. So I'm going to go very quickly get ready, we're going to head down to Glasgow to go to Tokyo Toys and we're going to play a load of Yu-Gi-Oh! So guys, I'll see you all in five minutes. So I'm on a way to go to Glasgow, just about to go grab the train. Um, I'm really excited for tonight, I don't expect to do particularly well because it's a test build. Um, but based on kind of some of the hands that I'm drawing, usually you get a hand trap or two, you get a couple of combo pieces. So I think I'm running just the right amount of everything to be able to OTK, smash everything that gets in my way. Well, let's see how that goes. So there's the train station over there. Okay, game plan for tonight, because I'm testing, just hope I don't get put up against any good players and smash. Now nah, I'm kind of, I've got a lot of preparation put into to what I'm doing, I've got a lot of prep put into the deck. I think it's got a good matchup against a lot of decks, um, side deck is trying to be as diverse as it can be. So I think I've got a good chance of actually doing pretty well tonight. No, I'm just testing the decks, not at what I would consider full power. I think I've got a good chance, I'm going to have a lot of fun tonight, because I love heroes. You know I love heroes, so let's see how it goes on. But. This train's making spooky noises and I kind of think I might die. Please pray for me. Do you know what this is? Full Orcus, full orcus, orcus combo. <laughs> <laughs> Just two people out and about. Full Orcus combo. Good of it. I'm very nice. Tommy, I know you're upset now. But it's fucking Naz. Hey! hey. And you're playing what? Sky Striker. You met a match. Quartius. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Quartius. You said just. I always said that if Naz played a real deck, it'd actually top worlds. Um, <laughs> but no, he had to play Infernoid, but now he's playing a scary deck. So. Oh, wait, that's the one I gave. Like, sold you or traded you? Yeah, this, this is pretty yeah. much a real deck. Oh man, I missed that. I was really bad with Strikers, so like, it's kind of for the best. Bring it on, Bill. Bring it on. I think you're better than me. Yes. Do you know what? You're entitled to your opinion, but I think it is wrong, so we'll find out. Fair enough. Good luck. Good luck, my man. Knowing on how. I'm going to totally interfere with your guys' game state. Abyss Tears by discarding Megalon. Attempt to activate effect search. Do you know CEM my first game? It's the same person. Cards in hand. You disgust me. You honestly disgust me. Wait, what's going on here, man? Yeah, it uh, it's, it's Playground, Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> 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 I mean, I'm playing no Javis, so... 2005? What's his problem? <laughs> uh, <laughs> he likes hentai. You know, no, whoever goes EXO, like that's for losers, that's for people who are too good at the game. Well, I've, got an, I've, got, I've got an EXO in TT a good few times. Ah, well, I've got some bad news. <laughs> you lost good day, sir. <laughs> you're in fact oh, too good at the game. I lost good day, sir. Yo, yo. Oh, you can't just be oh, crossing roads. Boy, you're going to get run over. Roads. I fucking hope I do, man. Wow. Oh, Nick, demonetize. Please, please, please. <laughs> Bye, guys. Guys, um, I had a great night tonight. The Tonight kind of went exactly how I planned. Not planned, but expected. I planned to win, but I didn't. Tonight went quite well. I went 2-2. Won my first two games, lost my second two games. The deck, as expected, performed incredibly well against combo. The deck, as expected, did not perform well against control decks, which is a shame. But that's what the side deck's for, and that's where we're going to be doing a lot of tuning for the deck. I had a good time tonight. Let's have a quick little match breakdown and talk about how everything went tonight. All right, so match one. It was a 2-1 to me. I can't remember who went first. Was it 
Me. Uh, what did I get? A one. one. Great. <laughs> Twelve. Twelve. I beat twelve, but uh, I'll go first. Alright. Cool. It was against Aiden. We've all seen Aiden. Good guy. Lovely guy. A 2-1 to him. Really gave me a good go of it though. First game went to him. Second game went to me. Um, and third game went to me. I had the most anime moment I will ever have in my life. Where I got to summon Vision Hero Trinity and attack him three times with a Trinity that had 9300 attack. That's re ridiculous. Did you just back into my stuff? That is, that is game. So this is on... 88 damage? No, 93. 93,000 attack. Um, bam, bam, bam. Good game though, man. Like, that was that a hard That was close, hard man. That was man. scared, man. That was good. That was good. Honest Neos. Honest Neos. Trinity. 10,400. I don't know what I know what this one does, but I don't know I don't know what, who Dread Decimator is. So give some more attack. So he gets, he's on 58 plus 25. So 94. No, sorry, 84. 84 times 3. Can he attack directly? Uh, no, but he oh. has more, so he's on field. Plus I had Dread Decimator to back him up, so after I'd cleared his board, I had game. I had full game. I was so happy with that. It was the most anime thing I've ever done. He just saw a big-ass beat stick out of nowhere and drop the pain train. That was the first thing. And that was the first match, and it went incredibly well. I was really happy. The deck performed as expected. So let's go talk about game two, or match two. Okay, so match two went way better than expected. Earlier on in today, I said, I just hope I don't get put up against any good players. Tonight I played against the two of the people I was thinking of when I said don't match me up with the good players. One of them, however, I did manage to cheese out a win. He actually beat me game one because he was playing guard dragon dot deck. Um, he, just, he just played for everything. He's just got extenders for days and he's, he's, as I said, one of the best players in the country. Undoubtedly top three players in the country from what I've heard. Lovely guy. One of the best players in the country and I kind of resigned to an auto loss when the match started. How can I beat this guy who doesn't make misplays, who thinks about all of his moves properly, who deck builds like an absolute champ? And I somehow squeezed out a win. One of the games um, is just kind of Ruffle stomped me. Just, just nothing I could have done. One of the games I managed to just out resource him, push through for damage. And in the last game, if it was not cheese, it, it was some sort of dairy product. What happened was I drew Super Poly in Nibiru. He played really well for Nibiru. He had he'd said that he'd got an Orcus package in the deck, and he had Nightmare Corruptor Ibly, or in fact not an Orcus package, but just Ibly, so that he could force out the Nibiru, stop me using Nibiru, wait until it was too late. So he forced out my Nibiru when he summoned Idly, or Ibly, sorry. At which point I was like, I really wanted to save that. Because he had a couple cards in hand and he had a lot of extenders. Let me tell you, he had a lot of extenders. So he ended up ending, despite the fact that I'm pretty sure I'd ashed him, Nibiru'd him. He ended on two negates and I saw Yuja. Now I just so happened to have had quite a good hand. So I'd made Lambda to start with, a super poly to his two dart, pushed there. Managed to take it to Saryuja, I had no cards in hand, and we were both kind of playing on top decks, and that was kind of game, right? Time got called shortly afterwards. This is how I felt. Yes! We didn't have a lot of time, but I just wanted to pick his brain and learn from him, because he's just a great player. So let's talk about game three in a second. Match three was where I swiftly got too old um, by Guru. First of all, because I just didn't pay enough attention to Guru to learn what it does. That's my fault as a player, and that's probably what I should read up on next. I don't respect control decks enough, other than Sky Striker, because it's everywhere, which is a poor play on my part. Um, I really should take some time to learn how they work, so that I can effectively counter them. <laughs> there could be only one to me, which kind of turned off game. Game two, um, I kind of did everything right to the best of my ability, except what I should have done was used Mass Change to go into Mass Hero Blast, to get rid of a set card so that then I could continue to push for game. Um, I didn't do that and that was kind of my bad again. It's a learning experience and I'm glad to learn from it. Match 4 didn't go particularly much better, so let's talk about that. So let me tell you how Match 4 went. Match 4 went disastrously. It was against Infernoids, which really should be a free win for heroes, but I chose to go second. Opened up this hand. It really has the consistency of a trap. Slow burn at my guru. Sure. And... Then, when I lost, I was like, I have the perfect out. I have Dark Claw, right? Dark Claw should be an automatic win against this deck. Which, by and large, it, it was gonna be in the jackass that I am. Dark Claw far too early. I Dark Claw far, far, far too early. And he just lava golems me. So, quite disappointed with that. And then from there, he just kind of 
but I woke my board. I had no Stratos because he card destruction me um, and I had Stratos. I'm going to set up another Stratos to play next turn. Nah, it didn't work. Yeah, I can't say that I'm happy with how that went, but I made all the right plays, just not at the right time. My fault process was right. What I have now learned is use Dark Glow when it's appropriate. Right? Don't just set up Dark Glow because then it makes it an immediate target. Um, what you want to do is set up Dark Glow for when it's right. So, for example, he played Monster Gate. What I should have done was chained to Monster Gate and just banished everything, right? So that's how match four went. Um, again, I'm not particularly disappointed with tonight as a whole. Okay, so I had a really good night tonight. Um, played some really good players. Again, like everyone I played tonight was a good player. I'm really happy with how I performed um, overall because I made a lot of good decisions, but not all of those good decisions got me the win, unfortunately. Realistically though, guys, it's time for me to kind of knuckle down this year. I want to not just top regionals, but I want to win a regionals and I want to just keep going from there. Might take a trip to YCS London if I feel like I'm good enough. Realistically though, I am a scrub. I am a bad player. But I'm a bad player who gets better every week and I get better with you guys, of course. Pop down in the comments section how you feel like you're getting better, Yu-Gi-Oh! What are you doing that means that you would have beat the you of a couple weeks ago, or a couple months ago, or a couple years ago, okay? Overall, guys, if you liked it, give it a like. If you loved it, give it a share and tell everyone you know about Team Tally today. If you want to join Team Tally, the subscribe button is down there. Go click it just now. We're on our way to 250. We'll be on our way to 300. And hopefully I'm looking to end on 400 by the end of the year. Because it's a nice wee number. Guys, as always, you have been fantastic. I've been Tally. I'll catch you all later. Bye.